Kids play here all the time. In fact, on the other side of this complex is a daycare and just a mile from there, a school. That's why community residents tell me they're keeping a closer eye on their kids. Fellow Ride's new e-bikes make life easy with their electrically assisted pedaling. Although improvements have been made, Texas State's campus is a challenge to navigate if you're a student with physical impairments. Texas State kicks off its 2019 season August 31st when they play at Texas A&M. For Bobcat Update, I'm Tom Vasquez. Uh, what I want to do is get this picture out to the public so that way we can help identify this guy as soon as possible. Police say the assault happened in the common area of this apartment complex. Authorities say a neighbor chased off the attacker and took this picture of the suspect before he made his escape. Detectives say the man is in his mid-20s, between 6'4 to 6'5, and well-dressed. Kids play here all the time. In fact, on the other side of this complex is a daycare, and just a mile from there, a school. That's why community residents tell me they're keeping a closer eye on their kids. Keep your eyes on your prize, which is your kids, you know what I'm saying? People tell us that not long after the incident, the complex sent out this letter to tenants calling for residents to get to know their neighbors. For Eastside resident Ronald Caldwell, this crime comes as a shock. I've, I've always thought this was a pretty good area, you know. But other residents say they aren't concerned with the safety of the area, but rather that the types of neighbors are changing. You know, I don't feel particularly unsafe, and I think that the schools have good security protocols. I think I am also rec like recognized that, you know, neighbors are less neighborly than they used to be. Although the attack was stopped, APD says that residents should refrain from taking the law into their own hands. Uh, a risk I don't want to tell other neighbors to take, but they did the right action in this moment. Tom Vasquez, KXAN News. New head coach Jake Spavital and the Texas State Bobcats took steps in a new direction for the program this past weekend. Duking it out across the field were the offense in white and the defense in maroon. Both fought hard, but ultimately defense ruled. The game highlighted the strengths of the defense and shed more light on what needs to be changed on offense. Fans are looking forward to see what Spavadol does with the team. I feel like he's brought a new energy to it. Uh, you could see on the field he, when they, they did make some missteps here and there, but when they did well, they obviously were hype and they were ready for more, to, ready to do more. Some alumni say they're noticing changes on and off the field. Yeah, since I've become in these games, I've noticed it's more focus on the actual students. I know they've had a lot of things with development and developing these young men into, of course, good football players as well as good men themselves, helping them get through school and, of course, keeping a focus on the positive culture here. Fans like David Navarro say that the team could make it to a bowl game later this year, but more students are needed in the stands to make that happen. I was reading a, a report about it the other day. Um, if we get from five to seven wins, we'll bowl eligible. So I know for a fact we can. Um, it's very much like in our potential. Um, one thing is we really do need our attendance. So I'm really hoping um, the rest of the Bobcats can come out and support. Last season, the Bobcats went one and seven in conference play, three and nine overall. And that losing record could be flipped as soon as next fall. The Texas State football machine is still under maintenance. There's still hope the engine will soon be running on all cylinders. Felicia Tapia is one of hundreds of disabled students at Texas State who must deal with ramps and stairs that seem to prevail on campus. It takes a lot longer because I have to like push through a crowd of people going on this ramp, like walking or riding their bike on the ramp, um, which is really inconvenient because I'm trying to go to class. <laughs> Tapia says the university should improve access to residential halls. I get that. You know, ADA wasn't passed till 1990. Technically, it wasn't re required for um, res halls to be accessible before then, but it's way past 1990, like it's 2019, can't you like update it a little bit? If you're a disabled student with a similar story, contact Texas State's Office of Disability Services. For Bobcat Update, I'm Tom Vasquez. The Ride is expanding its fleet by adding 150 electric bikes. The teal colored e-bikes offer a front drive motor that assists bikers and helps them reach speeds of up to 18 miles per hour. That's the kind of speed some people need to power through tax and commute. I would definitely say that I like the electric bikes more because when I'm going uphill to go home, the electric initiative for kind of part just kind of kicks in and makes it easier for me to pedal uphill versus the gold bikes which kind of just rely all on me. The motor assistance makes riding a breeze. It did like half the work for me when I was riding and so I kind of just glided most of it and so it wasn't like anything athletically challenging for me. And with parking spots at a premium on campus, bikes can be a useful alternative to automobiles. For Bobcat Update, I'm Tom Blaskis.